Well, good morning. It is misty, rainy, cloudy, intermittently downpouring and not downpouring. And I think it's gonna be this way all day. Um, but today we're doing a shorter day, 18 mileage wise. And um, we're doing the Gulf Haggis Blue Blaze Trail. So it should be pretty fun and hopefully we get some really beautiful waterfall views. I feel like a mama duck with all of her ducklings behind her. <laughs> Hi guys! Hello. The view! I can't see those, right? that's, a, that's a long way down. It, it's a little steep and you know, all wet and stuff. Oh boy. Yeah, I know. I love the uh, the blazes and the tiny little AT sign, and then the blazes continue going through the boulder field, but it's all wet and it's all slippery. I know. We really should just swim. The trail is literally a stream, and it's raining again. Shoes are off, Crocs are on. Time to get the feet wet. All right, two exciting things. One, we're about to walk through the Hermitage, which is um, part of the Gulf Hagus area of the 100 Mile Wilderness, which according to the sign back there is one of Maine's 14 nat natural landmarks. And, um, it's like a super old growth forest. And since we're, you know, in the middle of nowhere, it's undisturbed. So it's gonna be really beautiful. And the sign back there said we only have 83.9 miles to Katahdin Peak, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> So as you can see from the paint color on the tree behind me, we are in the middle of blue blazing the Gulf Haggis Trail right now. And it's basically just this rim trail that goes around a really beautiful gorge with a lot of waterfalls in it and beautiful rock formations. Um, and so far it has been quite the challenge. We've been doing a lot of climbing, a lot of climbing on slippery rocks and roots. Um, 
kind of what the trail looks like. But honestly, it's been really beautiful and um, definitely have enjoyed seeing the waterfalls so far. Screw Auger and Buttermilk were the best, um, but we still got a couple more to go before we hit the loop back to the AT again. So definitely worth the little side trip. And we had lunch above the canyon with the falls in it and it was really nice. So been enjoying it so far. The rock is very slippy and Snapchat keeps falling. <laughs> I've had a giant mushroom. Look at how big it is. It's so cool. Well, we're camped at the Sydney Tap and Campsite tonight, and um, it's really nice. It's got a lot of space around um, and we're camped on a pretty nice pine bed. Um, unfortunately, that means pine needles everywhere, so uh, picking up tomorrow in the rain is gonna be, you know, not great. But it kind of misted a lot of the day today, and then it um, finally sounds like it probably started raining in earnest like 30 minutes ago. So I am inside my very, very saturated still nylon tent, and there's condensation everywhere because it's so humid, and and there's puddles in my tent and I'm cold and I made myself a hot Nalgene tonight to sleep with. Well, it's probably not gonna be hot for a whole lot longer. Um, and then I think it's supposed to be raining again tomorrow, which kind of sucks um, because everything is just so wet. I just want to be dry. I'm so moist. Like, just everything. It's damp. But it was, it was a nice... Um, hike today. The trail was really beautiful, but honestly the AT section of the trail was reasonably easy. Um, we had a big climb at the end of the day up Gulf Haggis Mountain, um, but like the actual Gulf Haggis Trail itself, it was definitely challenging. Um, the snapshot compared it to being back in the lights again, um, but it was a very unique trail. It was very beautiful. Um, would probably about 7 out of 10 hike again. Um, not for the actual gorge and the waterfalls itself, although that was that was lovely, but we've seen a lot of really nice waterfalls and I don't know that those are like top of the list. Um, but the trail was beautiful. It was like going into a canyon and it, um, you know, there was moss all on the beautiful rock formations on the canyon um, and trees growing up from the rocks and like the, the hike itself was really beautiful. So definitely uh, worthwhile blue blaze but um, it was it was hard and um, it doesn't help being wet all the time either but uh, we should have about a 17 plan for tomorrow and then the day after that we're getting our food drop in the morning um, and uh, we're getting we're getting really close I just hope that the clouds part long enough for us to get our first glimpses of Katahdin um, because we should have been able to see it today. We were socked in and um, hopefully we'll be able to see it tomorrow. It's really exciting. So good night everyone.